the chicken wing. We've all seen it. This may be even happening to you. You've got your first few bar muscle ups, which is a great achievement. But what you're noticing is that you're getting one shoulder through and then the other. What we're going to be doing in this video is looking at how you can fix it and how you can start to perfect your bar muscle up. The fact that you've managed to get a bar muscle up is awesome. What we probably need to do now is start looking at some of those foundational elements, how we can improve those and how we can get you to a stage where you're not just having to pull so low that you have to get one, two and then finally the dip out. So the first thing is our kip. The bar muscle up kip is slightly different to that of the chester bar or the toaster bar and I'm going to show you how now. The bar muscle up kip or the start of the movement is actually very different to our butterfly pull ups or our toaster bar. You can check out that style kip on our butterfly pull up video. The main difference now is we're actually going to be starting slightly behind the bar. You notice that uh, Lung Run is standing on a plate, that's just to make this movement a little bit easier. But we're just going to demonstrate the start of the glide kip now. So Lung Run's going to start from slightly behind the bar. He's going to come to extension in front of the bar and then come back to hollow and rest back on the plate. So we're just going to show that uh, a couple of times. One of the reasons that we do this style of glide kip is because we have to come around the gymnastics bar. Obviously the toes to bar, the chest to bar, butterfly pull up, we always stay below. But now for the bar muscle up, we have this object that we're trying to move around. And if I use the traditional style of kip, it means I have to have this kind of larger style of kip and it's a lot harder to arrive higher and therefore get around. We need to start developing this glide kip in order to allow us to come smoother around the bar. So the next drill is a very simple progression of the first drill of our glide kip. And all we're doing is bringing our toes closer towards the bar. So after we extended, we can press slightly more. Um, and this is gonna be the next stage of our transfer into the bar muscle up. So we're just gonna hit three reps of this just to make sure coordination is there. <laughs> Now, we're gonna come slightly off the bar and add in a slightly unusual drill, but this is gonna help us understand how we apply the pressure down. Because what we're not doing is just doing a simple pull-up. We're actually using this straight arm strength in order to get up and around the gymnastic bar. So the next drill, we have a bit of a different setup. We just tied a band around a PVC pipe or wooden dowling. Notice that lung run's set up lying on the floor. And this is to get a feel of this straight arm pull down. So the bars up. One thing I would say is that just be careful with this drill. You don't want to release the uh, the pipe when it's under tension. Yeah. So just you can have someone spot set up, but just make sure you don't just release it because it can fly anywhere. So here, all we simply do is pull down towards the hip, and we pull down towards the hip. And we'll just do that a few times. Obviously, the higher, harder the band tension, the more of a feel you're going to get for this drill. The biggest thing we'll notice in this chicken wing is people really don't pull high enough. They end up pulling here and so then, then have to loop round. What we want to get in the habit of is pulling lower down, you know, be that to just below the rib cage, be that to the hip, when you can come up and just have a small dip out. And this straight arm strength combined with the momentum that we've created in the kip is really important for that. This next part just requires confidence. You know that you've got the strength to do the bar muscle up because you've been able to do it in the past. We're gonna now combine this glide kip and this straight arm pull down to try and get as high as possible. Now often on the bar muscle up, people can find the first rep the most tricky. That's because on the second rep, we use the momentum as we come back down to get into a good position and then come back up. However, I want you to try and get the feeling on this first rep. So we're gonna go into a nice glide kip, we're gonna compress, extend, and as we do so, we're gonna pull down to try to arrive as high as possible. The higher we arrive, the less the chance of the need for that chicken wing to occur. Manu 
can work his magic on this video. You know, if we were to take this in slow motion, you see how high Lundgren's coming around. Um, if you were to take it lower, it's going to be a lot harder to transition through, and that's where a lot of these issues occur. Lundgren's just going to demo us one for now, us now, where he's not going to catch the bar muscle up as high, and therefore it's going to be harder to transition the dip. Yeah, and then back up, okay? So even still at that height, you know, we can get that transition nice transfer over, but this really is the key of avoiding the chicken wing. You need to be able to transition the bar to below the rib cage, and arguably if you want to move into the uprise, you can start to transition around the hip. The glide kip combined with a strong straight arm strength is essential to be able to do that. As I've said many times in these tutorials, technique matters. The more efficient you can become, the easier workouts are going to be and therefore the quicker times you can get. And fixing the foundations can really help eliminate problems such as the chicken wing. Take a few steps back and you'll be able to get so much further. I hope that this helped. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll be able to get back and help you with them.